Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the pew. pew! To a very special sour edition. <laughs> now, we're talking about sour candy, not yeah. sour grapes. Yes. <laughs> now, we have in front of us an array of sour candies. And although Ernie's not, you're not a big sour candy freak, are you? No, I soured on sour candy years ago. Okay, so this is going to be somewhat torturous for our Ernie. But we're going to go, th he's going to go through it for you, the pure, so that you don't make any... So that you don't have to. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to be judging on lots of different things, J packaging, how easy it is to open, the, the taste, the candy, the, how, how long the sour lasts, because a lot of times the sour goes away like really quickly. So let's start with um, something fairly innocuous, the, the, the baby bottle pop. These are one of my favorites, the baby bottle pop. So... Now you open the candy. Now I open it with a twist like that. You get your hand on the bottom of that and you twist it open. Nothing's happening. See? You gotta twist it, gotta put some. There oh, you go. You gotta do it, Jim. I do. Yeah, so there you go. Now, now it's suppo you're supposed to dip this, this sour, that unsour thing right there. You're supposed to dip that. No, on the other side. Yeah, take the lid off. Pull it off. Oh my God! There's so many steps See, here. See, it's gonna, it's gonna. Okay. Gonna, yeah. It's Take the little. Bit. Yeah. Now, baby bottle. You're supposed to dip this into that, and you know what? It's okay, but I'm an extreme kind of person. But I did not go. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Try it pretty well. Mmm. Well, I like this part. See, um, this is one of my favorites. This is like a, a supercharged pixie stick. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's an extreme pixie stick. Pixie stick extreme. <laughs> pixie stick plus. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a runner up. I think. Well, this is actually good. It is good, right? right. I well, like this part better though. Here's something I haven't tried yet, but I thought it was cool. Because look, it's like um, Lego. But it's not the hard Lego one, it's a gummy Lego. Match them. And you put two flavors together to make another one. Like here's cherry and orange equals for punch. And you can okay. mix and match your own. It's kind of cute, right? Yes. This is very easy to open. Oh yeah, very easy. Now. Looks like gummy bears. Yes. Oh, Which but look, look how cute. Look how cute. <laughs> and look, mine already came joined together. We're supposed to put three together. Three? Yeah. And you've got end pieces. Oh no, that, that's not together. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, that's not together. Um, now here, look at that. Mmm. You make a sandwich, like. Okay, here. Mm. I've got a little sandwich mm -hmm. of green, orange, and yellow. Mmm. They're not like particularly sour. Um, no, these aren't sour at all. No. Um. Yeah, it I'm, does taste like fruit punch. It does taste like fruit punch, and I tasted my banana. <laughs> I like mm -hmm. these because I, they, at first I was wary because they look like gummy bears, and I actually do not like them. I don't like gummy bears either. Okay, now this one you're gonna. This is this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a challenge for you, Ernie. These are this is we have a spittoon. So we're super like, sour double drops. Now I really like these. Um, and you know the, there's a whole there's a whole uh, psychology behind sour candy. I think we discussed this on the pew, didn't we? Mm -hmm. If we did, I don't remember. It's that our taste buds were made to warn us against um, po poison, <laughs> poison and sour and sour, sour and bitter are the two things that are supposed to warn us against poison things we shouldn't put in our mouths. But people who like sour candy like to start kind of push the push the limits and live on the, live on the edge and be dangerous a little bit and like you know. It's almost like cutting, except on your tongue. Yeah, <laughs> but people who like sour candy also. Um, <laughs> Also, like uh, roller coasters and scary movies and um, bungee jumping and things like that. Yeah, you know, this one's So it's basically ad adrenaline junkies. Or people with a death wish. <laughs> uh, this gets a zero for opening. <laughs> for, for, for being able to open it. I open it for okay, now what? Uh, well, okay, now you, you. Do you plug this into something? Your mouth. <laughs> okay, I open. <laughs> what do you think? Mm, it's sour. It's very sour, right? 
I don't like it. You don't like it? I really like it, but I can't get mine open. Super oh, sour right. drops. I, I, oh, I'm not. <laughs> I like so far. Uh, my favorite is the Matchams, but they're, they're not sour. Okay. Ooh. Just suck it down, bitch. Ooh. Ooh. You get me hard. <laughs> 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 Mmm, 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 mmm. You notice how I put three drops in my mouth and he just sucked half the. Oh. Okay. All right, on to the next. Okay, what's next? This is a um, sweet tarts giant. This is a classic. Food. This is a classic with a twist. Um, they had um giant tarts before now. Mmm, mmm, mm. Ernie. Mm. <laughs> Bigger than a subway token. What's that? Subway token. Mm. It's a coin. Okay, now purple is my favorite. Mmm. What's a sour apple? It's very sour. Mm. It's good though. It's not so sour that it hurts your mouth. No. It's not like Mega Warhead sour. It is not. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. It's it very juicy. Yeah. I love the juicy part of it. Um, it's juicy and it's chewy and it's not too sour. It's something that somebody like Ernie, who's like just like borderline sour. But I, I've only eaten half. Mm -hmm. Well, you have the taste. It's like the taster. But the flavor It's actually quite good, but I couldn't eat the whole thing. Well, or the whole packet. Yeah, no, or not, certainly not. The whole package is grape, lemon, cherry, and apple. Apple and grape are my favorite. This would be good for when I'm at work and then after I've eaten my lunch, Ooh, when lemon. I want like a little sweet treat, one of these would be perfect. It's not sweet though. It is sweet. Very sweet. Mm. And so that's going to come sweet tart. And um, the sour wears off because now it's just the sweet. It's just the sweet. You suck the sour out, and then it's the sweet. Right, because now it's not so juicy. That it's not mm, now it's not so juicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. Mm. I like it. Okay. Let's do one more. But you know, how could you how could you argue with sweet tarts? Mm -hmm. It's a classic. Mm. Should we take a break? Yes. All right, we'll be right back, and we'll after a palate cleansing. Mm. And now a we'll word from our sponsor. To the pew, the sour edition. The sour edition. We start sour candy soiree. These okay. are juicy drop pops, and these are made by the people who I believe who make the uh, baby bottle pops. And um, this is mine's a blue rebel. What's yours? Um, is it apple? Oh, blue. blue it's green. Blue, no, blue raspberry watermelon blast. Now, blue raspberry. That's a flavor that has popped up recently in all the candies, and I've never seen a blue raspberry. No. Gatorade has blue raspberry. I've never seen it. Right. So, open the top. And it's not even blue. I mean, it's green it's liquid. Well, because there's a raspberry. I mean, there's a watermelon. Now, is the whole thing uh No, it's not. But the whole, it's partly... Okay. Now, what I, re what I really like about these Juicy Pops is just the packaging. Look how nice it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. That's an that's expensive package. Yeah, it's beautiful. It, it looks like a robot. Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm not sure oh, what it's supposed oh, look, to be. Look, look at this. A one-armed robot. It's just very beautiful. Now, you And what's this for? Like to put You're supposed your, to pull... Your, your, you pull this pop out. Oh. <laughs> See, that's interesting, right? This is the sweet, and then you squirt the mm -hmm, sour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And you squeeze this whole thing. Mm. There's so much plastic in this though. Oh, it's all gonna go to that new um, continent. 
with the Pacific. Okay, th yes, it's full of this <laughs> juicy pop. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, you do that, and then you squeeze with this. We're slowly building a new continent. Mm. Now, I'll let you guess. I mean, you could guess probably. I just drink the, the inner. Mmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. This is really sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is fine. I could drink this by the gallon. Mmm. Oh god. Oh. Um. Okay. Don't don't too much for me. Put that away. Oh god. Mmm. I like pencil. Mmm. Okay. These are delicious. This is my new go-to candy for my everyday candy, we'll say. While I'm painting or doing whatever, this is my everyday candy. I extreme sour mm -hmm. holes. Now, they're airheads with um, some extreme sour hole in the middle. Um, these are just kind of perfect. They're not really sour. I mean, they're sour, but they're not. In, they're not intense. Mm -hmm. They're not intense. Even though they're called extreme. extreme. <laughs> Everything has extreme on it. Or right? is it just that you know we're so <laughs> beyond <laughs> that even well, anything that I labeled extreme I is think not that, extreme I think for maybe us. that could be uh, that would be true, could be true for me, but I don't think it's true for you. You don't need a lot of sour candy. No. Okay, so I'm extreme in other ways. Now we're gonna yeah. So now we're gonna get two. The two here are the two um we got three left here. So you extreme sour now and later. So everybody remembers now and later. Mm -hmm. The grape there was grape, uh, cherry and watermelon, I think. Maybe or, or apple. Um these uh, and they were hard. Remember, they would get hard, mm -hmm. and like you would, it would hurt your teeth. And then it would so they fixed that. They made them soft now. And what flavor would you like? Wait a minute. These extreme sour ones. They get more sour when you bite into them. Which ones? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They have the sour in the middle. So that's their twist. That unlike those other I sour like candies, <laughs> where the sour is on the outside and then it's sweet on the inside. This is sweet on the outside, and then the sour is a sour explosion when you bite into it. Right. But it's not a ju it's not a juicy sour explosion. No. Some of the, okay. Here's a here. Check here. This is a cherry. Now this is a cherry sour now and later. Um, kind of looks wrapped like a starburst. Yeah. Well, you don't remember sour now and later? I do remember. But they were wrapped like this. Okay. Okay. I don't know. It's like no. They're chewy. Remember, star uh, now and later is usually hard. Mm -hmm. Now these are chewy. Which makes them even more like a strawberry. Mm. I'm not. I'm they not crazy. They taste like, just like strawberries. Kind of. So but they have sour. a more artificial. Uh, they're all artificial, of course. But this has a more artificial taste, and I don't like it. And I don't like it. Now, this is a, um, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is what um, what uh, DJ Huss uh, used to bring me all the time at um, at um, Outrage. And this is a squirt candy. You squirt in your mouth like so, like a like a mouth wash, like or like, like a yeah, like mouth wash. Like, but. It's like a breath freshener. Yeah. Um, I, you know, one squirt's good. It's it doesn't really taste like a flavor though. It tastes kind of chemically. Yeah, it doesn't. It tastes chemically, right? I mean, what flavor is it supposed to be? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even name it's, it. It does say, candies made, candy made in the USA with 150 sprays per bottle. Um, <laughs> but no flavor. It just says love one another on it. <laughs> the, two tarts, smart choice candy. Oh, wa watermelon. Wow. It doesn't. Um, I guess I, it kind I taste, of vaguely, I taste it vaguely tastes okay. like fake now, watermelon. Of course. Now we're going to get to winning. To winning. Well, what I this is. I mean, to me, it's kind of a hands down. Um, we're back on crybaby tears. Crybaby tears. Now, I'm sorry. 
don't know if you have anything can compare to it. Mm. I mean, one is good. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat these by the box, and until I'm sweating, I'm like sweating bullets and shaking and. Oh, is that why you're sweating bullets mm -hmm. and shaking? Mm -hmm. Because of crybaby's ears. Are you sweating? Eat five of them. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The this is what I when I have my Lego. This is what I would eat while playing Lego because you know I have that the trifecta of of um, sensations. Eating something, and my favorite candy is sour. If I eat a sour candy, my favorite toy was Lego. And I like horror movies, so the trifecta would be to eat sour candy while playing with my Lego and watching a horror movie. So you get the triple sensation. Why don't you try that now? Well, you have to pick your other two sensations. What would yours be? Um, I, I don't have three, a trifecta of sensations. Well, well if, they would, if you would, what would they be? What three things do you like to do? At the same time? What, what do you like to eat What for a snack? For a... Mm. I don't know. That's a good question. Like I'm not. Don't tell me avocado. I don't know. Like, did you, you flax, live? Flax seeds. You lived with me. What did I? Did I snack? Like, do I look like he I eats, snack? He eats bird seed and um <laughs> and water. <laughs> yeah, and carrots. Shredded, shredded carrots. <laughs> Basically. And, and if it's a fancy, if it's a holiday, maybe we'll put raisins in the carrots. <laughs> um. Okay. So then, then what? What was your favorite activity? When I was Do not there. say going to the gym. When I was a child. Because you're gonna no now. Um, that's a good question. Because I know what it's gonna end up being. It's gonna end up. <laughs> okay, then 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 we need. I like. Favorite. Well, you know, I just bought a sewing machine, so I do like making clothes and sewing. Okay, so that's good. So then the third one <laughs> is listening to music. So okay, so eating eating bird seed while sewing and listening to music. That's very neat. Trifecta. I don't eat while uh -huh. sewing because I don't want to get crumbs or stain the fabric. Well, knowing Ernie, he would create some kind of headpiece that would drop a bird seed <laughs> into his mouth every so often. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna work, and I'm gonna debut that look in a couple of weeks. And what's your trifecta? The pew, while eating breakfast, blank, mm, yep. and what? Getting a blowjob. All right, that's a good trifecta. <coughs> or having a pussy eaten. Try it out. See you next time. Bye.